Howdy folks, it's Adriel the Hunting Gear Guy. It's been a long winter and I feel like my skills have really gotten bad to the point where sometimes when I go to the range, I just feel like I'm blasting away and, and just not hitting anything. So uh, I reached out to a company called Mantis. They make a little doohickey that goes on the bottom of your pistol to uh, measure the trigger pull and uh, asked them to send me their Laser Academy. So this is a, a tool that should hopefully help my accuracy become better. I don't know, let's find out. Now the standard kit is a little bit larger and it also includes the portable. Uh, the portable one is your minimum uh, viable to take out. It's got a small little portable case. The standard includes larger targets and a larger tripod. Here's the portable, comes in a nice little case. If you were to be at a hotel uh, just before an IPSC match or USPSA match, you could use this for some quick little practice. While the standard one is a little bit bigger, uses a bigger tripod that you can set up for your ca for your uh, uh, camera phone. Camera phone? Phone, anyways. And it's got the larger targets in there as well. And you can see uh, it's got those targets. Those targets also have the control on them, uh, on, on quite a few of them, which is kind of handy. So those are really handy uh, if you're at your home. And there's a couple of different styles of them that you can see here. There's our con uh, a specific control card if you wanted to have one that's uh, that's easy to use and just easily available. And when you hit that, it controls the app. So it's kind of a remote control just using the laser. Uh, there we see. Then uh, there's a you can actually have some of the targets doubled up. And the reason for that is so you can co compete against someone else. All right, let's take a look inside the portable version now. When we unzip that, we've got a couple of different things that uh, we'll be able to see. Uh, we've got our uh, our tripod for the uh, phone. We've got a laser bullet. That's the one you pop into the chamber. And we've got a dowel that you can use to pop the bullet out. So there's the little tripod for your phone. It's just a nice little compact version that you can use. Uh, there's the laser bullet. That's what goes into your chamber. Your, your firing pin hits the back of that and it fires off a laser so you can score it and see it in the app and whatnot. Uh, you may want to put some oil on those O-rings so that they uh, go into the chamber a little bit easier and don't get damaged. We also got this wood dowel. That's for knocking the laser bullet out of your barrel because the laser bullet doesn't have a rim on it so you can't uh, take it out if you rack the, uh, the, the slide. So it just stays in the chamber the whole time. You need to use that wooden dowel to kick it out at the end of your session. Inside the top pouch, we've got a couple of interesting things that are handy. We've got a little bit of sticky tack. This can be used to put your targets up on the wall and then take them off without, you know, <laughs> ripping some drywall or paint or whatever off. So that's kind of handy. We've got a card that includes our, uh, our upgrade on the app so we can do all the cool stuff that's in there. Uh, and then we also have these targets. And these targets are miniature versions of those larger ones we just looked at. Uh, and it's a full set. It's, it's the same set as the large ones. So, Lots of different ones, a really nice uh, heavy duty cardstock on them, so they should be able to last for quite a long time. Uh, and, uh, and there's quite a few in there as well, so we can use those for scaled down shooting. So there's a couple of things that you need to be aware of when you're practicing with a, a laser system like this. One, uh, not to look for the laser. You're still looking, uh, uh, using your sights, however which way you, you do uh, sight focus. Some, some people opt to focus on the front sight. I, uh, through my, I've, I've only really target focused with pistols, um, which Ben Stoger mentioned on his podcast, uh, it can't be that bad. It can't be that terrible of a thing to do. Anyways, that's what I do. I just do target focus. Um, but you don't want to look for the laser. You don't want to be looking for the laser and seeing that. You want to be practicing the same thing and not looking for the laser. Squeeze a shot off. The laser is something that happens afterwards. So that's one of the things you want to think about. Uh, the other is that you'll have to complement this with dry fire where you don't constantly thumb the hammer or rack the slide because otherwise you're going to get out onto the range and you're going to... Uh, draw, get a, per get a nice fast first shot off, and then rack a, a perfectly good round out after your semi-automatic handgun does what it's supposed to and <laughs> reciprocates all on its own. So the couple things you have to think about um, when you're uh, when you're thinking about adding this to your dry fire. Um, that, those, those, those are a couple of things that, uh, that I would say are a negative of a system like this. A couple of the positives, uh, the timing, the timing was really good. So I've, I've used shot timers and I crank the sensitivity like way, way, way up on them. And what I want is I want to be able to draw, pull out, squeeze, and then um, get feedback on how long that took uh, the, to, to get the shot off. Um, if I get a shot timer or I have an app on my phone that, uh, that does uh, timing and 
if I to just to crank up the sensitivity, it'll get it'll pick up all sorts of other noise. It'll pick up like as you holster, as you unholster. Those will all come in as uh, uh, as shots uh, in the shot timer. Uh, so it's not really a clean way of like rapidly comparing uh, time after time uh, the the time that it takes to to squeeze a shot off. Uh, what this does so the phone beeps. You draw, you press out, you press the trigger. As soon as that laser hits that target, the phone's got the time on it. So uh, the timing on it is really, really good. Uh, you can do two people and time it really, really well. Not something you can do with, really with a shot timer because you're pulling two people out, click, click, and, and whatnot. So the laser gives some really good feedback on that. Um, and the other thing that it does is show like poor trigger control. Um, I've got this Terra TM9, which has a horrible trigger on it. It's eight and a half pounds, but it's a DASA. So I can, I can just keep pressing that trigger off. So for something like this, for dry fire, fantastic gun, uh, terrible trigger though. Not, not a really good gun either, but that video is coming yet. Uh, anyways, with that one, with the eight and a half pound trigger with like, a, what, like a one, two pound gun kind of a thing, pressing that trigger down, it, you can really see with the laser, um, whether that trigger press was clean or not. So if you're jerking it one way or the other, you'll see that streak of a laser on the target. Real easy to see. You're not doing things correctly. You should see, basically see like a blink of a laser if you've pulled that trigger straight back uh, into the gun. So um, really good feedback there, uh, as well as like where it's hitting, right? I mean, you're rushing for time. You're trying to draw, get a shot off as quickly as possible. And I think that seeing the uh, laser afterwards or seeing the score afterwards across like five shots um, is good indication of whether you're going a little bit past like the, the, the fine line of where you can perform and getting like inaccuracy in there. So um, that was interesting as well. Uh, the other thing that I found that was, uh, that I, not that I found, but that I saw that was kind of interesting, but my wife and kids loved it. Uh, it was a lot of fun um, just practicing with them, showing them good gun handling, safe gun handling, that kind of thing, uh, and practicing with them uh, using this app. It's kind of like a like a basic arcade, <laughs> like going to the arcade and shooting out the little star with the, you know, the pellet rifle or air rifle or whatever. Um, you know, just in the living room or kitchen or whatever, just being able to um, press these shots off on the target, see who's a little bit faster. They, they would get to anticipate the little, the, the timer delay and try to get like, uh, less than 17 seconds, uh, 17 tenths of a second, uh, splits, hundreds, hundreds of a second split. Um, and, and that kind of thing. And, and that was kind of interesting as well. Just, um, the fun of, uh, uh, shooting and, 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 practicing out, seeing what the sights were doing, oh, you know, the, uh, learning how the iron sights work, uh, as well as, uh, you know, familiarizing themselves with, uh, with the pistols as well was, was kind of fun. So um, it's something that um, I, I, I really enjoyed about it, out of it was just the ability to um, have some fun practicing with, uh, with family uh, shooting at, uh, at targets with lasers. So uh, that's kind of interesting. So again, that was the Mantis Laser Academy. Um, they've got that little portable version. They got the bigger standard version that has those bigger targets. Um, I think the promise of this system is in the app, the tracking, uh, and being able to see your your time uh, over time. Uh, that's something that's really interesting. And the fact that it just self tracks it and uh, and and logs it is nice. So you don't have to. I don't know, maintain records of like how fast your draws were or anything like that. Just logs it and you can just take a look at it afterwards. If you like some of the drills on there, you can just keep shooting those and see your, see your times uh, over time, whether you can improve them or not. That's kind of interesting. Whether you can improve your accuracy at longer distances. I think in the video, I'm, showing, I'm primarily shooting at about five yards. Uh, but if you got like a bigger room, like going to 10 and, and seeing what kind of speed you can get for uh, what kind of distance is helpful. It's helpful to, to learn your limitations and how quickly you can shoot at different distances and what your cadence can be uh, in making those shots. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. And I think that uh, overall as a training tool, it's, uh, it's an interesting addition to your dry fire routine. So if you, you need to be into doing dry fire already, um, but this adds a little bit something extra, gamifies it a little bit, honestly, because you've got those times and you're always trying to beat the times. Uh, and uh, I really enjoyed the dual modes with uh, with two people. So um, if you're interested, go take a look at Mantis Laser Academy online or whatever. Thanks for watching.
All right, here's all of our different shooting modes. Why don't we try dual single shot? Now it's got this black line. You need one target on one side, the other target on the other side. Get out of the way, notifications. All right, let's let it rip. You're firing. You've already got it aimed on it, don't you? Oh, got you there. Okay, I'm gonna start again. Got you that time. And it's able to show who's faster. So I got 0.38, you got 0.40. Uh -huh. 